Okay, welcome to lesson 32 in Saxon Algebra 1 3rd edition. And this lesson is about word problems. I know those are your favorites, but listen, this just builds on um, a lesson that we had earlier about algebraic phrases. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. I found this little cartoon I thought you would like. Point A is twice as far from point C as point B is from A. If the distance from point B to point C is 5 inches, how far is point A from point C? Alright, he's reading. He's just taking it all in. Here he's really thinking. Getting frustrated here. Oh my goodness. Here he says the living dead don't need to solve word problems. And I know that some of you... Um, like the zombies and everything and so I thought that would just be kind of fun for you to see but let's get into the word problems lesson okay one thing that I've always told you is the word is means equal and another little point I want to give you is always check the answer when you've solved the word problem always go back and put in your answer and see if it really does solve the problem if it really does work um, in the problem. So those are important. Let's get on to solving some problems here. Alright, this says find a number. So for a number, we're going to let that let that be um, n. It's going to represent a number such that 13 less than twice the number. Alright, twice the number 13 less than that is 137. All right, so let's let's work this out and see what happens. We have a negative 13. We want to eliminate that, so we're going to add 13 to both sides. When we do, we get 2n equals 150. If we eliminate the 2, we have n equals 75. All right, so let's put this in and see if it really does work. All right, 13 less than twice the number. Twice 75 is 150. And 150 minus 13 is indeed 137, so it does work. All right, go to the next one. This says find a number which decreased by, that means subtract, 18 equals 5 times its opposite. Opposite means negative, okay? If the number is a positive number, its opposite is going to be negative. So when you see opposite, you're going to think negative. Alright, so a number decreased by 18 equals 5 times the opposite of the number. Now I could have written that as 5 times negative n, if that helps you to see that a little bit clearer. Um, I just chose to go ahead and do my multiplication and uh, make it negative 5n. Alright, now in this one I'm going to go ahead and move this n that's over here and get it over here since I've got the 18. I only I want to do as little moving as I can. So if I have a positive n, I'm going to need a negative n. And that's 1. I've eliminated this and now I have negative 18 equals negative 6n. Now I want to eliminate that negative 6 leaving me with 3. n equals 3. Alright, so if n is 3 and I decrease that by 18, I'm going to have what? Negative 15. Alright, the opposite, if 3 is the number, the opposite of 3 is negative 3 and negative 3 times 5 is indeed negative 15. So my answer again does work. Alright, next problem. 
find a number such that if 5 times the number is decreased by 14, the result is twice the opposite of the number. All right, here again, I've got a variable on both sides. I only want to have it on one side, so I'm going to move this one over here. I'm going to have to subtract 5 in from both sides to eliminate. And then I get negative 14 equals negative 7 in. If I divide both sides by negative 7, I have n equals 2. All right, so let's see if that works. 5 times the number, so 2 times 5 is 10. Decrease by 14, that would be negative 4. The result is twice the opposite of the number, okay? If the number is 2, the opposite of that is negative 2. Twice negative 2 is negative 4. All right, let's work our practice problem. All right, four times a number decreased by eight equals 92. All right, here I'm gonna move this eight, negative eight, I'm gonna add eight, and I get four n equals 100, divide by four, and I have n equals 25. All right, four times 25 is 100, decreased by eight does indeed equal 92. Okay, next problem. If the product of four and a number, now how do you get a product? You multiply. So four times a number, that is decreased by 12, the result is twice the opposite of the number. All right, now in this one, I'm going to move this 4 in to the right-hand side. I'm going to do that by subtracting 4 in from both sides. And then I get negative 12 equals negative 6 in. If I divide by negative 6 on both sides, I'm going to get my answer is 2. Alright, if 2 is the number, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 decreased by 12 is negative 4. Twice the opposite of 2 is negative 4. Alright. Great job, keep your chin up. These word problems are not gonna be that bad. Just um, take them slowly. If you need help, again, just don't hesitate to ask. And I will see you tomorrow for Lesson 33.